I am at Colby Canyon. I am not going to Strawberry Meadows like I did in this video over here. I'm going up to Josephine Peak. So that's the hike today. Let's get to it. Views have been amazing, but the trail is really difficult. And every time I come to this trail, the two times I've come, both times I've been like, do I really want to do this? I think it's something about this trail. Parts of it are nice. You know, there are some subtle gains and loss. Other parts are very technical, but the views are great. And it's definitely a different place. I'm not gonna look forward to this later though, when the sun's up and I'm coming back down in this exposed heat. I brought 2.7 liters of water. So I hope, you know, that should be enough water, definitely, but it's definitely hot. There's that one view, I love that view. Um, but the switchbacks, you know, they're gonna be hard. About a mile in so far. And I've got a big climb ahead of me, so I'm gonna keep hiking. Whew, sweating already. It's not even seven o'clock. Let's hike on. So that right there is Josephine's saddle. And if you look over here, let's zoom in just a little bit. Those are the switchbacks I have to go up. Isn't that fun? Oh my god. So, I'm done with those switchbacks. That was a heck of a climb. It's just back and forth, up, 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 up. I've come up over the saddle and I'm on the trail to uh, Josephine Peak. The mountain's very different over here. Over there we were in Chaparral. But on this side, we've got some oaks and some pine trees. We've got a little bit of shade. The sun is kind of peeking through the trees. Um, but yeah, I'm going to stop. I'm going to have some water. I'm going to have some of these hammer gels. I love these hammer gels. Not sponsored by them, but this may be one of the companies. If they wanted to send me these free boxes of them like once a month, I would pitch these because I really believe in these. Uh, the one I'm eating is the Montana Huckleberry. I'm not even sure if a huckleberry is an actual berry. Fun fact, a boysenberry is not a berry, nor is a blackberry, raspberry, um, dewberry, loganberry. Those are all kinds of like those aggregated fruits. And a strawberry is not a berry either. Learn that. Aggregated fruit. Um, also, uh, yesterday we went hiking in Brown Mountain Dam and someone recognized me who watches the YouTube videos. And if you look back at this video, it explains, you know, I have mental illness. I have a general anxiety disorder and depression. I take medication for it. It's completely under control now. However, that was a situation I wasn't ready for. I was not ready for someone to say, hey, I watch your videos and this is my first time here because I saw that video where you did X. And I wish I could have been more personable with this guy. But, uh, and I'm normally now very personable on trail. It got rid of a lot of my social anxiety. I just didn't know how to handle it. 
Anyways, drink some water, eat one of these. That was pretty hectic, very tired. I feel better on this trail than I did last time. Like starting, I was like starting to feel that remembrance of how I didn't like it, but it wasn't too bad. Two days of hiking wasn't too bad. I'm looking forward to the PCT next year. Anyways, I'm rambling. Eat, drink, get to the peak. That's what you guys want to see. And uh, so I'm going to do that. So, so far, I've climbed up Josephine Road, which is basically an old like fire road up. It's not too steep, um, but it is, this is like a little bit of shade I've found, but it is, as you can see behind me in this blown out area, it is just nothing but sun. It's very exposed, not a lot of shade up here. The only real shade on this whole entire trip has been that little connector trail from when you come up into Josephine Saddle to the other thing that looks like a saddle and I may have those mixed that may not be Josephine Salad Salad uh, Salad Saddle um, but where you come up where the UFO kind of metal uh, cement thing is and then you come around to that peak where you hook up with Josephine Road or that saddle from that up it's it's pretty much exposed you get these little bits of oasis of shade Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Uh, I just stopped, kind of changed, you know, filled up my water again from the liters that I had in the back, ate a little bit more food, and I'm gonna keep going. Hike on. I made it to the peak. Um, it's, you know, it's a good climb the whole way. Uh, the peak's about 5,583 feet, so exactly that. It's got a sign, it's got a little uh, filing cabinet thing up here, but no trail registry. There's a bunch of old signs up here that have just deteriorated out. They're just pieces of wood now, but there's a new sign. You know. I've always said I'm not really a peak bagger in the sense that I'm not doing like the six peak challenge that's real popular here in Southern California. I do the peaks because they give me a challenge, they push me, and then I get these views behind me. I mean, I can see the back range of the San Gabriels. If I look out over here, I can see downtown LA, Glendale, I can see uh, Catalina Island, the beach. Uh, it's a little hazy, but it's not bad. And the great thing about it is, is that when you come up to the top of a peak, and especially when you can get a peak all by yourself, and you can just sit here and kind of look out, uh, and you know, I can get some shade from this filing cabinet that's right behind me, um, and just kind of decompress, it is really one of those things that really help mental health, to get away from the grind, to push all that nervous, stressful energy out of your body through exerting it by climbing up a mountain, to then get here and have it to yourself and be able to just take in the fresh air, take in the views, and just see how small the world really is. And that in truth, you know, if I mess up at work, it doesn't significantly change this world. Um, if I do great at work, it's, it's not going to change this world. Um, all I can do is go to work 
and do the best I can and try to help the people around me make their lives a little better. But I can't change the world. Um, but I can help a little bit. Uh, so that's, I mean, that's a little bit of a ramble, I'm sorry. But it's just, it's really beautiful out here. And to be away from everything is great. Thank you.